Good evening, everybody. It's Best Five Zach and my daughter Aubrey. We're back for another review for this month's Mystery Tackle Box. We've had a pretty big day today uh, with uh, piano recitals and softball, and of course, we got home at 7:30. <clears throat> One really tired baby. Get him to bed. Go check the mail. Guess what came today? In fact, Aubrey here went out and got it, and so she was really excited. And while I thought uh, I would put it off until tomorrow, she was so excited about doing the review for this month's Mystery Tackle Box that uh, I felt like I couldn't say no. So we whipped out the old GoPro here, and uh, we're about to open the box and uh, get started. So we're going to get the box and see what came this month. Okay, so here we are. They changed boxes up this month. Uh, but we haven't opened it yet. Again, you know, like the last couple of months, I wanted to do a really uh, a first impressions of what came in the box and what we thought about the baits. And Aubrey's going to tell you what she thinks on hers as well. So let's get started. Let's open up this box. And you see I've got my highly technical pair of scissors here. And I hope my wife doesn't see me use them because she's always saying that I lose all of her stuff. All right. Okay, Aubrey, why don't you pick out some stuff and show it to the camera and show them what we've got. And tell them what it is. What do you think that is? It's a frog. It's a frog. All right. By Live Target. Okay. Set it down. Let's go to the next thing. All right. Here you go. What's it look like? Like It looks like a worm. That's it. Looks like some sort of worm. Okay. Go to the next thing. What else we got? We got a Kevin Van Dam um, worm. Show it to him. Show it to the camera. Okay. All right. All right. What do we got next here? We've got a worm that's scented and salted. Okay. Show it to the camera. All right. And, of course, we have all of the little extras we come with. Scratch-off cards. Good sticker to stick on your tackle box or your work box or your boat or whatever, what have you. Uh, free t uh, $5 gift card. And of course, we have our color uh, card that tells us about everything that we're, we've got here. So again, we looked, at, uh, we looked at what we got and real quick, it looks like we've got the, uh, the lot of target lures, hollow, bo hollow body frog, the recon worm by Rage, uh, Rage Tail by Strike King, the four inch game hog by Strike King, and the Reef Stick by Backwater Tackle and a Mustad 4.0 Lock EWG hook, which of course you can't you you can't catch any fish with these if you don't have the hooks. So you know here here's a picture uh, of each one of the baits tells you uh, a little bit about it, but we are going to go a little more in depth and see what we think about each bait. All right, the first item that we're going to look at here is by Backwater Tackle. And, uh, you know, we talked about it. This, uh, this is one of their, looks like a, a finesse type worm, kind of a stick bait. Um, and I, uh, I found them a couple of months ago uh, when they came in one of the Mr. Tackle boxes. Really good product, you know, smaller company. And I really like smaller companies because they offer baits that are a little bit different than everybody else. Unfortunately, you know, it's kind of hard to find these small bait companies, especially in your local tackle shops. So, you know, one of the benefits of uh, Mr. Tackle Box is if you find the bait that you really like and your local place doesn't carry it, you can always request that they carry them. So Aubrey here is going to tell you what she thinks about this bait. Here you go, Aubrey. Why don't you uh, pull one of those out and tell us what you think about it. We've got a salted and scented one, which is very sparkly, and it, it stinks a lot. Oh, it stinks a lot? What does it smell like? It smells like a lot of salt. Like a lot of salt? Smell, does it smell like garlic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does it feel like? It's very squishy. Very squishy? All right. Now, how do you think you would fish that? You would probably stick... You would always need a hook for everything that mm -hmm. you fish with. You would first, you, you would need a, um, a hook, and then you would... You would um, throw it in there, and then the fish would probably see it a lot. And because it's very sparkly. You know, uh, everybody probably uses stick baits, but, uh, you know, and, and for good reason. They're extremely flexible. Uh, you can use them a lot of different ways, you know, from uh, wacky rigging to weightless to, you know, Texas rigging. You know, I've started doing a lot of Texas rigging stick baits, and of course, you know, a lot of people might think that's a little odd because the stick bait itself really doesn't have much action. I mean, you've got some 
you know, some movement if I do this, but if it's on the back of a Texas rig, it doesn't really do a lot. But I found that it comes to the grass really well, uh, and uh, you know, it gives a really subtle presentation, especially on overfished areas. So that's one of the things that I started doing. Uh, you know, this one's a little thicker than the uh, the ones that I that I normally use, like the five inch six stick by uh, Power Team Lures. Uh, it's a little thicker across the midsection, but it gives the the fish definitely something to grab onto. And of course, most of your stick baits are actually uniform across the thickness, and this one's a little thinner at the head, gets thick on the body, and then it's got a nice thick tail or a skinny tail. And why do you think that it has a skinny tail? Um, I think the fish probably wouldn't bite on the skinny the skinny part, and it would. The tail will probably move back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I, that a lot of them like the uh, the thinner regions, uh, or the, the bait companies make them with thin regions because they uh, they they move really easy when they when they're they're thin, and uh, you know contrary to popular belief, just because it's uh, thicker across the midsection doesn't mean that it sinks faster. Uh, in fact, the the plastic is so buoyant that the more plastic that you have, the slower the fall. So you know you've got to really try to find that middle ground between. Uh, a thick bait that's still kind of a finesse type bait, uh, but gets that that fall rate that you're really looking for. So that, I think that's probably the the thing that's really interesting about this bait is that you know they've got a nice thick midsection here across the middle that gives them some buoyancy that would really make a lot nice slow fall through the water. And in you know high pressure situations or uh, you know if you're on a clear lake like Smith Lake or uh, any lakes like that, um, you know you want that slow fall rate to let the fish see it. So, really interesting bait again, made by Backwater Tackle. On to the next bait. Okay, we're on to the next bait. This is the Live Target Frog, uh, and apparently this won the best new bait of iCast uh, last year. Um, you know, we love uh, hollow belly frogs up here. We use them a whole lot on Gunnersville with all the grass that we have. Um, so, Aubrey, what do you think? And, and Tell me what you think is different between this frog and, and one that I use from, say, Snag Proof or Spro. You've seen the other frogs that I use, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's what's different about this one than maybe the other ones? It's, I've felt one of your frogs before that's a different type. And this one's more squishier mm -hmm. than other ones. Yeah, okay. And what about the actual size of it? Do you think it's bigger or smaller than the ones that I normally use? Eh, maybe a little smaller. Yeah, it's a little smaller than the one I'm using. Uh, although the, the skirts are about the same length. Now, what do you think about the color? Is that a color that you've seen me use? No, not really. Okay. Um, would you use that color? Well, if I were fishing, i will use it in a grass. Mm -hmm. And I think I would use it if it used... Um, Use this one if it was um, in dark water, because mm -hmm. on the yellow right here, it's really bright yellow, right, like a true. highlighter mm -hmm. yellow, mm -hmm. and they would see it better. Be very visible then, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I actually use a lot of uh, a lot of different frogs. You know, Spro has a very similar color pattern to this one right here uh, that I really like, and on Gunnersville, I, I kind of only have a couple of colors that I like to use. I use kind of a real natural green color. I use this, uh, you know. Uh, black and, and yellow, which uh, Snag Proof called Tweety. Of course, theirs is a half black, half white instead of these, but Spro makes one that's black, uh, yellow and black as well. And I use a white. Uh, and that's really the only colors that I like to use. Uh, this one has a really small weight, probably, I guess, a quarter ounce. I'm not really sure because I haven't looked at it, but the, I imagine it's a quarter ounce, which would be tough to throw this very far. Um, but then again, you know, you don't have to cast a country mile to, to find fish. So I do like that it's a smaller bait and it is very squishy. And, and now, if it's squishy, watch this, Aubrey. If it's easy for me to squish, what happens to those hooks? You'll be able to see them. Right. And, and now what happens if a fish comes up and grabs it and squeezes down like this real easy? What happens to those hooks, do you think? It pushes in the fish's skin. Right, yeah. So it makes it easier to catch. At the same time, even though this is a very flexible bait, it also is fairly tough. And that's one of the things, you know, there, there, there are always two trains of thoughts when it comes to topwater frogs because there's really only two major manufacturers, you know, Snag Proof and Spro. And I, again, I use both, and depending on the situation, uh, you know, that, that kind of de determines which one I use. You know, if, uh, if it's a tough day and I'm not expecting a lot of bites, I'm pretty much going to use a Snag Proof. 
uh, because the hookup ratio is terrific. Now, if it's going to be a day where we're going to, you know, get the mass beat out of that frog, I'm going to probably be throwing a spro because the spros last longer. So this looks like it's actually a really good uh, compromise between the two. You know, you got very flexible plastic, but it, it, it looks like it's pretty, and it feels pretty thick too. So, you know, you get that good hookup ratio as well as, you know, getting the good toughness. And of course, it's very lifelike. And, and I've seen these, uh, you know, I know Dick Sporting Goods carries this, uh, this brand in particular. So if you're looking for this, go try out your local Dick's and probably Academy as well. Very good looking frog here. Uh, it's small and, and you know this year one of the things I'm trying to, to do is to go to smaller baits a lot quicker than I have and I think that that's going to make a lot of difference and I've already started seeing that. Um, you know when, when, when things are tough with those fish, downsizing is always an option but that doesn't necessarily mean going from uh, a power bait to a finesse bait. That may just mean going from one size lizard to a smaller size lizard or going from a, a half ounce frog down to one of these like quarter ounce frogs. So another good bait uh, by Live Target. Really good looking frog. Looking forward to throwing this. Okay, next one we've got here is the Strike King Game Hog. It's one of the KVD Perfect Plastics. You know, it's kind of come out with his own line. And, uh, you know, it's uh, Game Hog or Brush Hog or, you know, everybody, everybody's got their own name for basically the same thing. I think we can pretty much just call it a, a Brush Hog and call it interchangeable. But let's pull this guy out and see what we think here. Ooh, it's very slimy right out of the package. Ooh, very slimy. All right, Aubrey, tell us what you think about it. It's very, very slimy. Yes, it is. Now, what do you, what do you think you use that for? Um, you use it for, um, I don't really know the answer to that. Well, that's fine. Uh, you know, I like to use, uh, the brush hog type baits as both jig trailers, and I also like to use it on, uh, Carolina rigs as well. And, uh, you know, I, in fact, to be perfectly honest with you, I've kind of gotten to where I use, I can use lizards and, you know, brush hogs interchangeable, but the lizards don't quite have the versatility that your brush hogs do. So this is obviously a very good color. It's kind of your uh, pumpkin seed or watermelon seed with red flake in it. And I noticed that this bait's very soft, isn't it? Much softer than the other plastics we've been looking at. Uh, you know, a lot of people, of course, think that it's just going to tear up a lot quicker. But, you know, I like those softer plastics. I'd rather spend a little extra money on more baits but have the, ha the fish happy when they pick it up and think that it's the real deal. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a little downsized from the standard brush hog that we see. Uh, you know, probably an inch shorter, but the tentacles and the flappers are about the same size as the other baits. Uh, you know, really interesting bait. Again, it's uh, very, very soft, very slippery. You know, and we all know Kevin Van Dam knows what he's doing. So a really good, uh, really good product here from Strike King again, the Game Hog. Interesting bait. You know, again, we were talking about downsizing baits a second ago. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you know you need a creature bait, uh, but you're not quite sold on throwing one of those big old Magnum brush hogs, this would be a great alternative. It's still going to, you know, got a lot of tentacles and stuff. It's going to move water and give a lot of flutter. At the same time, the overall length and diameter of it is uh, downsized from the standard bait. Uh, and that kind of thing makes all the difference in the world. So, on to the next bait. Okay, we got our last bait here. It's the Recon Worm by Ragetail. Ragetail has been making some great products, and uh, this looks like it's just another one uh, down the line here. Uh, you know, it's about uh, probably a 10-inch worm when all is said and done. It says that uh, it's got a scent. Let's see what if Aubrey can guess what scent it is. It's sort of smelling okay, but it's not as... Can't really smell it as much as I thought I could. It's supposed to be a coffee scent. It doesn't smell a whole lot like coffee to me. And it's not real strong. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really an interesting feeling worm. Here, give that a try. Doesn't that feel real? Now, what makes that feel real? Look at it and tell me. What part of it makes it look real? This part right here. Those ridges right there, right? Those thin ridges. And, and as, you, as you move your fingers down, and boy, that just feels realistic, doesn't it? It feels good, too. It feels very good to your fingers, too. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. What, do you, what do you think the fish would do when they pick that up? Do you think they th think that that's the real thing? Mm-hmm. I don't see how they couldn't. Could you? Mm-mm. 
Now look at this long tail. Now they've got they have a little ligament right here that, that's holding it together, so we're gonna break that. Look how long that ribbon tail is right there. Oh wow. Now something like that uh, gives you a lot of versatility, okay? Um, you know, a lot of people when they use worms, everybody uses them different ways, and that's fine. Everything, you know, it's gonna work one way or the other, but you know, my dad has really shown me something with lizards and with worms, and uh, you know, when I'm trying to bump them and hop them and drop them and flip them and do all these different things, my dad, you know, for whatever reason, he likes to just reel them, just swim them, from lizards to worms to whatever. He lets them, he just swims them along, and he has great success with that. And with a with a ribbon tail like this, man, that thing is just going to flutter in the water and. You know, it's it's counterintuitive what it actually does in the water. In fact, I was using uh, a grub the other day that's made by Power Team, and uh, you know, I was swimming it along instead of just kind of using it as a trailer and not really giving it much thought. And it was just enticing, even to me in the boat watching this ribbon tail. And with a tail like this, man, I bet that thing just flutters as it comes through the water. It's going to be really interesting. So you got a really realistic looking uh, forefront of the bait, and then you've got this long ribbon tail right here. And whether you're swimming it or letting it fall or, you know, hopping or whatever, that tail right there, that's going to be the ticket. All that different movement, that's what's going to be, bring the fish in. And so I tell you, I, gotta, I think this would be a fantastic worm, you know, to, to teach a kid how to use because, you know, you could just Texas rig this guy, throw it out and let them just kind of slowly reel it. And I, I almost guarantee you're going to have success with that bait. So not only do you have the other things that you can do with it uh, as far as uh, Texas rig and Carolina rig, uh, you know, dragging it around or bumping it, hopping it, doing whatever, but, you know, this bait right here, I bet, you know, you just Texas rig it or even weightless, throw it out there, reel it in, it's going to catch some fish. Especially on that color, you can't beat watermelon seed. All right. Well, that's about it for this month's Mystery Tackle Box. Again, you know, one of the benefits of getting this Mr. Tackle Box as uh, opposed to other tackle clubs is that these guys are sending you really quality baits. Not only things that you do know from brands you know, like, you know, Strike King. We know all about Strike King. Strike King's a great bait company. Uh, but places like Backwater Tackle, again, you know, throwing something that's a little bit different uh, may make all the difference in the world. And if you haven't experienced that success with smaller bait companies, then you aren't trying hard enough. And I know it's hard to go and... Uh, to take these when you you know you used to throwing money or uh, throwing Yum or throwing Zoom or throwing uh, Gambler or whoever all these bait companies are great, and but these other smaller bait companies they really offer you some versatility, uh, and that's what Mr. Tackle Box does for you. It, it it sends these to your door and says here they are. Take a look at them and try them. And so once again this month we got some state some staples in the box things that you're going to use like a hollow belly frog. Uh, but then again, you know, smaller bait companies. So, once again, let's run through what we had. We got the Recon Worm by uh, Rage Tail, owned by Strike King. Fantastic looking bait. What did you like the best about this bait? It's soft. It's very soft, very soft. The ridges are incredible and lifelike. Really like this bait. Uh, offers a lot of versatility. We have the KVD uh, uh, Perfect Plastics, the Game Hog by them. Uh, you know, their take on the, uh, the Brush Hog, or any of the other creature baits you want to call it. And this one was just a kind of a downsized version and also very soft. They're really getting on something. Strike King here is really going on something with these softer baits. And if, uh, if, if they believe in it, then you probably should too. So what did you like most about this bait? It's, it's sparkly. I love the color. You know, uh, watermelon seed red flake is one of my favorite all-time colors. It's a staple from stick baits to creature baits, even trailers. Love this color, and they did me right by sending this one to me. And I love how soft it is, and I love that it's downsized from the standard brush hog type size. Great bait. You know, this is another bait by uh, Backwater. Uh, again, like I said, they, uh, they sent me one of their baits uh, a couple of months ago in Mr. Tackle Box, and I really, really liked it. In fact, I threw it a, a good bit and had a little bit of success. This is the Reef Stick, which is a stick bait, a little bit different. Again, that's what these smaller bait companies offer you is, is the, the subtle little things that they do. This one has a, uh, a very defined smaller end down the tail. It's thick across the midsection, 
and then it has a tapered front end instead of being a constant diameter stick bait. So it's going to give you a lot of versatility, uh, whereas the uniform diameter, uh, you know, they're kind of weighted uh, neutrally, so you can't really get a bias as it falls. A bigger bait like this is going to fall different than a regular stick bait does. And again, that's one of the things that, that matters. You know, if you're fishing docks and you're throwing a standard stick bait up under there and it falls straight down to the bottom like every other stick bait, but then you throw this one down that, or throw this one that has a little, uh, the head goes down just a little bit before the tail and that tail flutters because it's thinner, hey, that may be all it takes. So give these small bait companies like Backwater a try. Again, thanks to Mystery, Mystery Tackle Box for including them on this along with these larger companies. Well, yeah, sorry. Aubrey, what do you think? What is your favorite part of this bait? It's stinky. It is stinky. And, uh, you know, a lot of there's a lot of things going around about scents. And I actually talked with uh, Bob, the owner of Power Team, because they have uh, their bait called the Hog Tonic. Or not a bait, uh, their scent called the Hog Tonic. And when I called it a scent, he corrected me on the spot and said, you know, this is not a scent. It uses amino acids and garlic extract. And while the garlic extract does, have a, uh, it does act as a scent, uh, the, amino, uh, the amino acids uh, combined with the garlic are actually absorbed through the fish's lips. And like a minnow or uh, a crayfish, when they pick it up with their lips, the lips sense, uh, just like your tongue and your taste buds do, it absorbs the taste and lets them know that it's real. So, you know, people get hung up on baits, whether the baits are, are uh, scents on their baits, whether the scent is good or whether the scent is bad. But, you know, these, all these uh, bait companies, they're on to something. They've done their research, and if they believe in it, maybe so should you. Now, the last, the last uh, lure we're going to look at is going to be the live target uh, frog that they sent us. Uh, you know, I really like the size. I really do. Uh, you can't throw this as far as uh, the other baits, but then again, you know, one of the things that you're going to find out with frogging is that they're not all spread out. You know, the fish are usually going to be grouped up together, uh, and you can eliminate a lot of water by looking for blow-up holes, as we call them. Aubrey, what do you like about this bait the most? I think I like it because it's squishy. It's squishy. It compresses really well, which means those hooks get out uh, a lot better. And uh, But I also think that it has a pretty uh, resilient plastic on it, so it's kind of the best of both worlds between the spro and the snag proof. Now, there's a lot of little tricks, and one of the things that I can already tell you about this one, with the way the hooks are angled after about two fish, there are going to be holes poked on the sides of this frog from, uh, from hook sets. And you're also going to miss some fish. So one of the first things that I probably would do, you know, this one's free, nobody's going to be charging you for this advice, is bend these hooks up just slightly. Uh, you know, just give them a little bit of an angle. That not only saves the backside of your frog, saves you from poking holes in that plastic, but it's also going to really increase your hookup ratio. All right, folks, well, that's the end of this month. Uh, I know I had a good time, and I know Miss Aubrey had a great time. Um, and I hope that y'all let her know how much you appreciate the uh, the hard work we have here. And certainly uh, appreciate uh, Mr. Tackle Box for the great job they do at finding these baits and getting them to your door. So until next time, make sure you visit me at best5zack.blogspot.com for all of my different updates from fishing to mudding, uh, everything that we do, including uh, reviews like this. So... We'll see you then.